In Matthew 13 is a parable that's told by Jesus to a multitude. He said, Behold, a sower took seeds and scattered them. On different grounds they fell, and here's what happened. Some seeds fell on the wayside, and by birds they were devoured. Some fell on stony ground, and without roots, in the heat, they withered. Those that fell among thorns couldn't grow, for they choked. And those that fell on good soil, it's no surprise, they grow. But this is a parable, not a science lesson, so it doesn't end there. Listen. The seeds are the word of God, and where they fall is not that hard to understand. It's how we take God's word and how it translates in our lives. Without a tangible report card, we'd all like to think we understand the word of God, to imagine that we star pupils in God's class without putting in the work. That's not how it works. If you think you're the good soil, perfect for the seeds to grow, don't forget there are three other things in the parable. If you're bored of glancing at the Bible but forced to because it's vital or you think it's outdated because your friends don't agree with it or you pick and choose the parts that you think validate your wants, you, my friend, haven't even begun to understand the Bible. You're the wayside that the seeds fell on because you may have touched the Bible but the Bible hasn't touched you. But if you've received God's word with joy, you should be safe, right? Because when the church you attend or the sermons you listen to do not offend or prepare you for hardships and temptation, for persecution, rejection, you're missing the point of a huge chunk of the Bible, which teaches us how to stand against the current in a world that's run by the serpent. If you get along with the world, you're the stony ground the seeds could not grow root in. But if your heart for God is more than the shallow stony ground, and you don't pick and stick to passages that appeal to those around, be careful, brave Christian. There are still things to look out for. When hardships get too hard to bear or it feels like there's no time to spare, the devil comes with clever snares by telling you, God will understand. One compromise and then another, away from God to sin you'll wander because when you make compromises in your walk with God, the things of this world will once again matter. If you take a step back, you'll start to wonder when the world like thorns grew around your faith like a choker. We have mirrors that show us how we look and faults on the surface have us shook. Whatever the world can see we make perfect, but in the eyes of our maker, is the farce worth it? No mirror in the world can show our hearts, but God sees who we really are. Refusing to examine ourselves using the guidelines God extends is not going to make our inner filth disappear, even if the world doesn't see it, because to God, it's clear. And please take note that in each example, the seeds remain the same. But the ground where they fall is where the results change. At the end of the day, we all have a choice. Are you going to do what it takes to be the good soil?